guys welcome back so today we're gonna do this easy peasy four leaf clover because of course we've got St. Patty's Day coming so let's get started get all your tools that you need I gotta try to find the beginning of my yarn all right so this yarn um, which is um, the <laughs> perfect color is Patty Green. It is a Red Heart Super Saver yarn and it calls for a 5.5 so I'm going to use a 5.5 for this project. Um, so what you want to do is make a slip knot. Chain three. You want to slip stitch into the first ring to make a circle. Find your little circle in there. From here though, you're going to chain eight. slip stitch into your circle which is right in there make sure there's two pieces of yarn over on this side because a stitch is made up of two pieces of yarn so and you know you're in the right spot because it tends to want to open up for whatever reason so slip stitch that and do this four times all together so three more times chain eight come back down through your hole and slip stitch chain eight back down into your, into your ring, which is so hard to find, but we want to keep that small. And slip stitch. And one more time. Chain eight. And come back down and slip stitch. There you got the start of your four leaf clover. So after we've done this we're going to make the stem. Get that done out of the way. So chain 10. What you're going to do starting in, in the very first chain you can get into, you're just going to slip stitch and you're going to slip stitch all the way back down. Which seems, seems counterproductive but I don't really want this to be overly thick and I want it to have a curve to it. So this will do just that. Or pull your work apart so you can see what what's going on so you can see what you're doing so you don't miss anything or screw anything up and then once you're back down to the bottom you can just slip stitch back into that ring to hold that tight so keep some tension on that when you do that turn this back around you're gonna start in this first just keep some tension on that slip stitch 
you want it to, to stay tight. So um, single crochet into this very first petal right next to where you just made your thing, your uh, stem. I almost said tail. <laughs> anyway, single crochet into that very first spot. Just pull that down. That's my tail. Let's get that out of the way. And after you uh, do that, you're going to put all inside this petal, you're going to put a half double crochet. So follow along. So half double crochet all into this petal. Four double crochets. four doubles, push it down, you're going to put two triple crochets, Still pulling on my yarn because I've made a mess. So just keep pushing that over to the side. One double crochet, a half double crochet, a single crochet. half double crochet a double crochet two triples pushing it all together so you make it fit. You've got to put four doubles in now. single crochet and now you're going to slip stitch right into that ring again make sure this is over here your string and you just want to hold your petal solid and now we're going to repeat all the way around So single crochet to the next petal. Oh. Single crochet. I was trying to keep that tight. Half double crochet. Four double crochets. Two triples, a 
trouble. A half double. A single. A half double. A double. Two triples. Oops. Four doubles. Half double and a single, and then I want you to slip stitch right tightly into that ring. Pull tight. So we got two done. Our next petal, same thing, put a single, a half double, four double crochets, Two triples, keep some good tension on that when you do those, a double crochet, a half double crochet, single, a half double, double, two triples, my dog now wants to play. I know, buddy, but I'm doing something right now. Four doubles. I think he feels deprived when I make my videos. A half double. And a single. And then you're going to slip stitch. Into the ring. Nice and tight. And our last petal right here. We're going to finish off. A little slip stitch. Pull that down, pull that tight, and a half double, and put four doubles, one, two, Four doubles, 
two triples. It's getting squishy. Oops. Half double crochet. A single. A half double. Two triples, four doubles, half double and a single a single if I can get in there it's got pretty squishy and slip stitch into the center oh hold on I gotta pull this tight Slip stitch into the center, hold tight, and time to finish. Where's my tail? Tail is all tucked up. Let's hide our ends so I'm not screwing around here. it in this center part because this center part is nice and tight. I'm going to pull that tight too. So I'm just going to hide it right around the center. You can keep it if you're sewing it onto something actually. I'm going to I'm going to keep mine cuz I might sew mine onto something, but I've tucked it in anyway because I had so much. So I'm just going to wrap this around, tuck this in somewhere, but I'm going to keep it in case I want to sew it on. So I got this guy coming out this end. I'll just wrap him around to the other end. And I'm just going to keep those in case I want to sew it on to something and then tie a knot. But, um, you could probably stand to do some blocking so that it kind of lays flatter, but I like mine looking like it's 3D. I'll just put those up there. So there you have it. There's your shamrock. Now we got two shamrocks. So my little tail. So not a big stem because on a shamrock there's not. I don't know if you've ever plucked pluck the generally a three leaf clover out of the ground but they got this tiny little tail that grow really close to the ground they're a ground dweller kind of a weed but uh, anyway 
there is your beautiful four leaf clover your lovely shamrock and um, yeah if you want you can actually make a chain so if you want to make these for decorations you can actually chain like 150 or chain 300 and then just take your your ends and use your needle and, and put them into the chain and tie a knot so that you have a banner you can have like a whole banner of shamrocks but uh, we have an Irish household so this is gonna go perfect for the upcoming St. Patty's Day and happy St. Patty's Day to you guys um, this is probably going to be obviously be posted before St. Patrick's Day so that you can um, have yours done for St. Patrick's Day. But uh, thanks for joining me guys and I'll see you in the next video.